Projects implemented by the Climate Smart Agriculture and Rural Enterprise Program, also known as SIEP, are being examined by its financial donors who are conducting their mid-term review. The financing agents are also discussing a new project where 10 million U.S. dollars in grant funding will be made available to the government of Grenada to implement various projects. In Karakou, funds can be used to address the reforestation issues on the island, among other things. Because we know in Karakou, water management is crucial given when we talk about climate change, Karakou is at the forefront. Um, in terms of water availability and therefore water management becomes a more crucial factor for Karakou. And, and when I say Karakou, of course, PT Martik also. So we're looking at, at having discussions with the prominent secretary, chief agricultural officer and other officials to look at where the remaining funds should be going. Also interesting, in Grenada, part of the program has been supporting youth in small business development, providing grant financing. Uh, so there's initial discussions in Karakou, so how that program in fact could be also adapted to Karakou with its special conditions. SIAP project manager Byron Campbell. A SIAP team is currently on the Sister Al's accompanying representatives from the International Fund for Agriculture Development, also known as IFAD, and the Caribbean Development Bank, the CDB, as part of the midterm review. This will determine to what extent SIAP programs have been successful and assess their sustainability. Mr. Campbell believes this review is timely. In this midterm review, the government, the new administration, will have an opportunity to determine to what extent for the remainder of the project that the project can respond to what the government determine its own agenda. And that's very important in terms of particularly uh, the transformative agenda. So, uh, so we're having discussions with government officials, um, policy makers rather, and beneficiaries also, and decision makers to determine how exactly should the project be going forward. So for example, in Karaku, we're looking at the Limle farm, for example, which is a government-owned farm, uh, in a collaboration with the UNDP to look at how this farm could be a model for livestock development. We're also looking at how we rehabilitate the ponds and wells, because we understand that this is a priority of the uh, Karaku administration. So how we're able to respond to this. The roads that we do in the farm access roads like Dumfries and others, to what extent they are still relevant and in fact the project should be going forward. To date, SIAP has been able to implement a number of projects on the sister ALS, including constructing farm access roads, grant financing for small businesses in the areas of fishing, agribusiness, livestock development and water management, as well as providing CVQ certified training. There's always room for improvement, we could do better, and this is why we're doing this midterm review now to determine where are the bottlenecks, where are the um, delays, uh, how can we improve this, you know. Um, now in Grenada, for example, we have a Ministry of um, Mobilization and Implementation. And this ministry, we are informed, we had a meeting with the minister, the team from IFAD had a meeting with the minister, understanding that this ministry is there to look at the bottlenecks, where you have delays, how can they help, how can they intervene in the first ministry if it's happening there. This is a good thing, because what I find is that the issue is not so much the availability of financing, but how fast you can use the money. And that is also a factor for SAP. We're not using the money fast enough. We don't want to lose it at the end of the project, that's the point. So this midterm review will show us and point us to how we can more efficiently and effectively, of course, because you want results. So for example, in the CVQ training, whereas we have trained hundreds, I think to date about 400 young people, we have created jobs for 150 there, but not enough, you know? So that's what we count in, how many new jobs are created. 